guys welcome to my channel my name is Tempo Bear and in today's video yes I moved to Malindi Kenya and I'm gonna be showing you an empty two bedroom apartment that I'm staying in in Malindi Kenya in the area Sapa yes and I'm gonna be showing you the neighborhood and I'm also gonna tell you the reasons why I moved to Nairobi and left my studio so come in first of all for the empty show you the compound over there mm -hmm. yeah and this is the compound that's where we are on the ground floor and have these palm trees these are palm trees so they really provide nice warm breeze and yeah before i tell you why i moved please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it's really important for the channel subscribe if you haven't we are heading to 40,000 subscribers and thank you for always viewing my videos liking supporting me and you can also support me on paypal it will be on the screen here so now you enter past the living area it's empty of course but if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed. Think you're something out of my nightmares, sitting right there. And we also have an open kitchen. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, then will you get bored of killing me? Silhouettes of you are like a tongue. The thing I like about this uh, unit that we are in is very near on the main road. It's just, if you know my lady is just around Sanfa, so if you are near, come say hi. And then we have a kitchen. It's empty. It's empty kitchen, two bedrooms. I'm gonna show you one because it's more at least we've kept things neat. Never really noticed what you want. With you, I don't ever feel calm. I can feel the sweat inside my palms. Play with me like cats and a string. You don't understand the pain it brings. You don't ever wanna give me wings. You don't ever wanna set me free. You know I'm addicted to you. Ain't it twisted? We have a chair. This is not my first place. This is my second place. We're just sleeping, I'm not furnishing it. And that's where I edit, watching the views. That's where we find me editing and we uh, need Wi Fi. <laughs> we don't have a Wi Fi yet. And the other room, I'm not gonna show you the other room because it's another bedroom, it's the same size as this one. It's darker also, and we've got messy, it's messy. So, the reason why, or oh, the toilet is here. I'm show, I'll show you all of our lady. That's the toilet. You've been gifted with the evil voodoo. Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed. Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through. I got issues in my head. I like you in my bed, but you keep me on red. Oh, everything is like a test. I better not text or I'll come off desperate. But if I lead So now the reason why I moved. So the reason why I moved in Nairobi is because if you know me, if you are K-Tribe, you know I'm a complete nomad and I want to show this nomad lifestyle before I die. <laughs> so I'll get bored really easily. So I've decided to be living in different parts of the Kenyan coastal. I concentrate on the Kenyan coastal because I love the beach. So I'll be like I'll be moving right now in my need, I think I'm gonna be staying here for the next three months and then move to the next location. If you want to know the next location, keep on watching my channel and just to be spontaneous, I get I think I'm a Gemini or Cancer because my birthday is June twenty first. So I tend to lie between Gemini and Cancer and our our star we like we don't like being bored. We don't 
few spontaneous things were chaotic and basically the reason why what will happen to my Nairobi house I am renting it on Airbnb so if you're in Nairobi and you want a place to stay you can do that link is on the description down below so that's what I'll be doing anytime my list is on like right now it's booked but if you want to book it always book it on Airbnb that's why I'll consider it or on my number down below so yeah that's what it is <laughs> I'm really enjoying my tour I'm just sleeping on the sofa We've put the sheet on so that it, uh, we don't get it dirty. We don't sweat on it and we can wash it the cover, like a cover. So you may ask why do I move a lot? But I've decided to become a nomad. Yes, I've decided to become a nomad. I get bored on a place so quickly and I love the coastals like Kenyan coastal regions entice me. They are so inviting to me, they are a vibe. And I feel like, I don't know, I don't know, in the next video I'll ask, I'll tell you what happens to my, my studio in Nairobi, I'll let you know, or maybe I'll tell you on this video. It just depends on how I feel. If I've already told you, yeah, that's what's up. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know which kind of videos you're interested to watch. Um, we have several problems here. But it's not even a problem at all because it's about Wi-Fi, fixing Wi-Fi. We don't have Wi-Fi. And we're thankful our neighbor, our neighbor friend provided us with the Wi-Fi. But it's not strong here. So we have to sit on specific spots to get the wi-fi and we upload like seven seven hours so i'm thinking if i'm staying here for three months i'll have to sort out the wi-fi situation yeah for for that for installing the wi-fi if i'm being here for a long time other than that everything is nice nice weather i'm not like this is a very hill humid climate it's a warm climate and i'm not sweating right now and i don't even have a fan so the trees are providing the trees that i'm seeing right now you see they're providing a very natural nice breeze yeah so i like everything here there's water there's fresh water from the tap and it's consistent yeah and the price is really good also the price is, is very very good yeah guys so later yeah, sit here so we can talk right now so editing came monitor right here let's talk okay i'm not gonna close because i have no so i was thinking So I was thinking, I'm here. So I was thinking, like, um, I was really skeptical sharing this info online due to obvious reasons. But I was like, when, when did Kemto start caring about people's opinion? Like, what the heck? So. I just decided like I was really skeptical to share this information like what I do with my Nairobi like studio apartment because now <laughs> many people have figured out where <laughs> where I live in my studio where my studio is and it kind of it's unsafe and my <laughs> so-called frenemies they absolutely know where I live and it's becoming uncomfortable because you never know who's gonna pop up, you know. And uh, yeah, it's safe, it's uh, secluded, uh, we have security guards, but 
it becomes difficult when people know where you live and I'm a pu public figure if you may say so but most probably like I don't know I don't even know what I'm saying I've, I've been going through emotions up and down like I don't know like Financially, I'm, I'm better than I was last year or better than I've, I've ever been financially. I'm, go, I'm, bet, I'm not saying I'm rich, but God willing, I'll, I'll reach there financially free. Uh, I'll reach there. But I feel like there's something I'm missing, like my family is good everyone is good thank god i am good also but i feel empty i feel like run down i feel like i feel very very weird but that's when that's why i'm doing this that's why i'm moving from i'm moving like i'm i'm a nobad no what no what traveler right now and i like here like the kenyan coastals anywhere that has a beach makes me feel better it's th therapeutic to me but i don't know if you realize that i f like i don't smile nowadays i don't laugh nowadays i i just feel I have nothing to be worried about but i just feel like i should be somewhere like i feel like i'm trying to achieve my goals i'm happy with youtube but i'm not so so happy with youtube currently because i don't know i just feel like i'm socially burned out burnt out like i have over over 900 videos uploaded on youtube so i'm trying to take a step back but i don't want to because i miss you guys you know the only thing k tribe is the only thing that's making sense right now but i have yes i was saying i have like over 900 youtube videos I have playlist if you go to my home page like my channel and then you go to my home page i have playlist i've always been organized since i can remember i like organizing my stuff and since i'm a lifestyle content creator i create videos all around cooking traveling and just reviewing stuff for you like i have put a playlist and so that will be easier for you guys to watch and i'll request you guys to go back to my videos and watch them for right now i'm trying to manage my social burnout by just trying to create i used to create content every single day but now i'm trying to to do like at most three videos per week i'm trying to be to create that consistency but my goal was to create videos every single day and to post the videos every single day but it's getting with my, the social burnout and then i am not like i am figuring i'm figuring out my wi-fi situation right now so what that's why uploading is taking a lot a lot because i'm not where the network is stable and apart from that i'm really socially burn out I have over 900 videos um, cre I've created so I feel like you can go back to my videos and watch them and let me relax a few as I continue to gather myself because I feel like I'm losing myself and it's not nice because when I moved out of home, I knew I was going to be like continuous creating content, continuous creating content. But I don't know, like life happens, things come up. But I'm really trying, I'm really trying to create content. It's, I've not lost the urge to create, but I just feel like I'm so tired. So I'm just trying to live life. But YouTube algorithm will not let me, so that's why I'm 
I must do three videos a week. I'll, I'll be trying to do live, but when the Wi Fi is good, so yeah, guys. So I was really like, people who were close to me advised me not to share about my Airbnb. I've been putting my Airbnb on the description box since forever since I started it out and uh, my my people are close to me advised me not to share that info with the world because of all the backlash um not on the backlash the mere backlash i got from the somebody who's trying to figure it figure out my life uh but uh i'm sending positive vibes and it will not go bad no no fit no kit because it has really been going it's really good so yeah if you're gonna book my airbnb you can buy you but it's booked the whole of me yeah the whole of me and half of june it's booked and yeah i've been so yeah okay guys so thank you so much for listening to this ramble don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.